welcome back to art class with Miss Levy. Let's start off by doing our mantra together. You ready? I am positive. I am creative. I am mindful. I am amazing. And I am an artist. Great job, everyone. So today we are going to be learning about one of my favorite artists ever. That's why I'm wearing a polka dot ribbon in my hair today because our artist today loves polka dots. And I mean, she really, really loves polka dots. Her name is Yayoi Kusama and she's pretty much the queen of polka dots. So before we get started on our art project for the day, let's learn a little bit about Yayoi Kusama and take a look at some of her amazing polka dotty artwork. Yayoi Kusama is a Japanese artist who was born in 1929. When she was a kid, she used to have hallucinations or dreams of polka dots that have since inspired her artwork. She's most well known for creating infinity rooms, which are rooms that are filled with polka dots. When you go see the artwork, you can stand in the room and be surrounded by polka dots. This is a picture of me, Miss Levy, when I visited one of her artworks. What she's most famous for are her polka dot pumpkins. She makes big rooms filled with hundreds of glowing polka dot pumpkins. She also has made polka dot pumpkin sculptures. So, just like Yayo Kusama, we are going to be making our very own polka dotty pumpkins today and this will help us get us in the spirit of fall and when we're finished we're going to be putting them all together to make a pumpkin patch of polka dot pumpkins just like yayoi kusama you ready to get started on your very own polka dot pumpkin all right let's get started to get started you're going to need a paper make sure it is horizontal or landscape you're also going to need some colors, a black marker, and a pencil for this project. To start, you're going to start by drawing the pumpkin stem first. You want to put it in the middle of the paper towards the top. Start by putting a tiny semicircle, then some curved lines, and then another circle. Next, you're going to make one straight line coming down the middle of the stem. That's going to be the middle of your pumpkin. And then you're going to start making the pumpkin ridges. So start by making two curved lines on either side. And then you're going to keep going with these curved lines starting at the top by the stem and then ending the line at the bottom of the pumpkin. So you're going to make a curved line starting at the top to the bottom and do the same thing on the other side. These are going to make the ridges of the pumpkin. One more curved line from the top all the way to the bottom in the middle. And then on the other side, the same exact thing. There we go. Once you think the pumpkin looks good in pencil, get your black marker and trace all of your pumpkin lines. It's okay if you don't trace them perfectly because after we are going to go ahead and erase all of the pencil lines that are still showing. So take your eraser and erase all of those pencil lines that might be peeking out under the black marker. Next, you're gonna draw your polka dots. You're gonna start with small polka dots towards the top, then they're gonna get bigger in the middle, and then they're gonna get smaller again towards the end. So the biggest polka dot should be in the middle of each of the pumpkin ridges. You're gonna do this again for each section of the pumpkin. Start small, then it gets bigger, and then it gets smaller again as we go towards the end. This is because pumpkins are smaller at the top and smaller at the bottom and bigger in the middle. This helps make our pumpkin look more 3D. Keep going until you've filled every section with polka dots using your black marker. Make sure you color them in. Thank you. 
After you are done with the polka dots, go ahead and add a few texture lines in the stem. Then go get your markers or crayons or colored pencils, whatever you're using, and you could start coloring in your pumpkin. I'm going to use orange, but you don't have to use orange. If you want to make your pumpkin more abstract, which means it doesn't look like real life, that is okay with me. So if you want to make your pumpkin pink or blue or green or purple or red, go ahead and make your pumpkin any color that you want to. I'm just coloring mine in orange. When I'm coloring in, I'm making sure to color in very evenly and filling in the whole pumpkin so that there are no white spots left. I'm also trying to color all in the same direction so that my marker looks nice and even. Once your pumpkin is all colored in, go ahead and grab your black marker and divide the background into sections. It doesn't matter how many sections, you can make more or less sections than what I did. Then in each section, you're gonna fill it with a pattern. Maybe you want to do swirly lines, polka dots, stripes, hearts, stars, anything you want. But in each section, you are going to do a different pattern. I'm just showing you some examples of patterns, but you can invent your own patterns and make it as creative as you want to. I can't wait to see how amazing your polka dot pumpkins come out. I'm sure they would make Yayo Kusama very proud. So remember, send Miss Levy a picture either on Teams or email. And if you have a question, you can always contact Miss Levy on Teams or on email or phone. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, artists.